everybody. This is Stephanie from Sexy Plus Clothing. I'm here with my guest Lisa of the blog Mustang Sally 2. Hi guys. Good evening. Happy National Ice Cap Day. Oh, who am I kidding? Every day's Ice Cap Day. Unless you're me and then it's Happy Iced Tea Lemonade Day. Starbucks, Tim Hortons. Mm. We have a little bit of a conflict mm -hmm. <laughs> in our beverage. Choices. We never agree on beverages. No. But we do agree on plus size fashion. I'm trying to get it a little bit lighter. There we go. Yes, I want good lighting, Stephanie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Technical difficulties working on us. It's a little bit dark. Mm -hmm. oh, we still look good. So, good evening. Um, oh, do you want to do me a favor and share it on my personal page? Yeah, I can. On the computer? That. Thank you. So, how's everybody doing? It's. Um, raining right now in Mississauga but uh, the weather's been lovely and what was it today or yesterday the first day of summer I think it was yesterday was officially the first day of summer um, I spent my hello Nat um, thanks for joining good evening nice to see you um, yeah what did I I spent my evening um, moving couches and uh, working here and uh, so I got a new couch yesterday really good deal um, if you're in the uh, GTA Brampton Mississauga area and you're looking for a fantastic price on a um, really good quality sectional um, I got a great deal actually Lisa could you pass me the iPad that's on the printer behind you I'll show you guys a picture. I know it has nothing to do with plus size clothing, but I love sharing a good deal. Hello, Roberta. How are you doing? Thanks for joining. We're talking sectional sofas at extraordinary savings today. I'm just going to pull up a picture here. Um, it's not the best picture, but I'm in love with it. I'm so happy with our purchase. Um, so I'm going to show you the picture and then you guys can guess how much I paid for it. So. Sorry, it's on the iPad here. So can you guys see that? It's a faux suede gray with a faux leather black. Um, beautiful sectional. It's actually quite a bit bigger than what it looks like. The ottoman was included. Um, so guess how much, guys? I spent the whole day. Um, I went, to, sorry for the interruption there. I just got a phone call on my, uh, on my phone that I'm using to do this video. And the caller was Katerina. So Katerina, join us on the Facebook Live and let me know what you're calling about. <laughs> um, so, hey, um, oh, Roberta says it's not raining where you are. Well, that's good. Um, it's been, um, I heard on the radio this morning that it's been one of the wettest springs in history. Um, so yeah, so do you guys wanna know how much I paid for that sectional? 700, um, everything in. Hello, Amber, good evening, nice to see you. Um, we were just talking about a new sectional couch that I got. Um, so you didn't get to see a picture of it, Lisa. I saw it from the other side. D did you see it from yeah. over there? I'm so happy with it. I'm coming over to hang out. Yeah, it's so cool. And, um, you know, Howard can lie that way. I can lie that way. Like, we had the crummiest little couch before that. So, and the ottoman is great for storage. Um, it's, uh, it's brand new. It's not used, although I did find it on um, Kijiji. Um, so it's a little, like a little tiny, one of those tiny little shops in like an industrial unit with, um, a huge warehouse in back and they have tons of options. <clears throat> um, they do have like normal sofas as well, but they have tons of options in, um, uh, where's, oh, no flashlight on this guy. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants to know, uh, I can share the link. Hello, First Lady Shawnak uh, Chambers, how are you doing? Um, I'm here with Lisa for anybody who just joined. Um, say hi, there's uh, 12 people watching, but only I think four of you have said hello. Um, and also, hi guys. <laughs> um, also I gotta be honest, I've been so busy that I, I haven't had a chance to um, properly prepare the Facebook Lives um, as structured as I used to, um, but I didn't want to miss out. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging, and I still wanted to do a show, so forgive me if I don't have a planned you know, agenda as I have in previous uh, episodes, but I'm still here. Um, you're here. That's what matters, and um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the fashion show 
show, Sexy Plus's um, first fashion show. We've participated in many, but I've never kind of uh, produced my own. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so it was uh, tremendous. It was really, really amazing. Um, we had two guest brands uh, featuring their collection in the show as well. Excuse me, one of them is uh, Amadora Jewelry, or excuse me, also known as Amadora Designs Jewels. And I'll show you a little snapshot of their Instagram so you can see. Um, <clears throat> so here are some snapshots from the runway. Uh, these pictures are taken by our photographer that day, Elliot Parrott. So she makes um, custom sized um, jewelry and body chains. So she featured her collection and the cool thing there was that she just had all the models, which was the same models that were doing the other collections, all wear black so that the jewelry could really stand out on our little runway. Um, and then the other brand was uh, Flaws of Couture and they're kind of like a streetwear brand. Um, their collection was absolutely amazing. Um, so here's the, oh no, it's um, shop foc shop foc on uh, instagram so here's a little they do a lot of like um cropped sweatshirts and hoodies and they all have a message um so you know fluffy or thick af right or body goals um uh or you know um uh what is one of them um fat girls don't text back either is one like of them one. right um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so they were in the fashion show as well. So we had, um, Sexy Plus, uh, sorry, ignore the, the phone, the store is closed, so I'll get that later. Um, so we had three segments, Sexy Plus Casual, and then Sexy Plus Evening Party, and then it ended with lingerie. Um, the... Some smoking lingerie. Some crazy smoking hot lingerie. If you go to the Sexy Plus Instagram page, I've been, um, posting... Um, all of those pictures um, and you know making little like videos too here's one for instance of Jody um, you know she's one of the plus models that's worked with sexy plus clothing um, you know very beautiful courageous to get out there D Moore joined hello D thanks for joining Someone um, shared. thank you for sharing the video oh yeah thank you for sharing um, so yeah it's uh, it's it's tough you know modeling is one thing and then modeling live on a runway in front of a parking lot full of people is also very difficult uh sorry about the phone again it's just so busy here at sexy plus um <laughs> so <We're> popular <clears throat> yeah so um we had it for those of you who don't know um hey tina thanks for joining hello the fashion show was in the parking lot um I actually um, had a gazebo set up that uh, my mom decorated and we had like a couple rows of chairs and the um, Vicki Nicholas hey good evening how you doing Hi. thanks for joining um, so we had uh, you know the parking lot was full we had a DJ we had an MC it was like a party in the parking lot with a bunch of crazy gorgeous models and a lot of men in the audience too so I really think I think that they enjoyed it and yeah what I was saying was that modeling is one thing but going out in front of a live audience in you know half the clothing that you normally wear mm -hmm. or you know things that you've been styled in but they're maybe not your personal style it takes courage and guts to go out there in front of a live audience and you know think about not falling or tripping on something um, remembering the choreography and you know for some of them being half naked as well Donna um, yes love the body confidence they all showed the hi Donna good evening um, yeah they did they you know crazy body confidence and um, one of my husband's friends was here and he just can't stop talking about how amazing Jody was one of his favorites and just how she went out there did you see that little video clip oh I saw it I watched how it she times, just yeah. like what right opened up there and um, you know yeah crazy body confidence so it was a it was a really beautiful show um, hi Ali from Montreal thanks for joining I'm here with Lisa um, so uh, I, I'd love to do it again. Um, there's a couple of things that I would adjust. Um, Jackie Hoffer, thanks for joining. How are you? Cynthia Riley, hi. 
Um, yeah, there's a few things that I would adjust, but I'd love to do it again. Um, if I, you I was, have to do it again so I can walk. Yes, and that was the thing too. That was one of the, we had to change it from May 21st was our original date to June 11th because of the rain. And Lisa unfortunately couldn't make the June 11th three schedule date, so she couldn't walk in it. So that was very disappointing. We also lost, um, because of the date change, we lost Simone Denny was supposed to model in it. Uh, Ophelia Eileen was going to model in it. And, um, Hey Ophelia. And, uh, Ophelia, Hey, I was just mentioning you. Um, and another girl, another model, uh, Sabrina Brownie wasn't able to join in it anymore. Hey Simone, <laughs> <laughs> speak their name and they will come, right? We, yeah. Just mentioned you Simone and Ophelia, how you guys couldn't model in the, miss Jackie too. Hi Jackie. Um, yeah, how they couldn't model in the June 11th show. So we have to do it again. Um, uh, Tanya, executive producer of Virginia Full Figured Fashion Week. Wonderful to have you. Thanks for joining. Hi, Tanya. Have we met? I can't remember. There's a bit of a delay, so we'll see. Uh, okay. We'll see her, her response in a momento. Um, yeah, so nice to see everybody tonight. Thanks for joining us at Sexy Plus. We were just talking about our fashion show. Um, so I think I think I'd like to. Um, I know you were Simone. You were there in spirit. Thank you. Adriana, Patricia Lopez, good evening. Um, Tanya says, no, we have not. Okay, Tanya, we need to meet. Yeah, so please connect uh, after the show, Tanya and Lisa. Um, I think I'll make it an annual event. Okay. Because um, it's a big production. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be a big production. I, I don't want to do it small scale. I would want it to, I would want to do it again on the same large scale um, but just better, um, you know, have better facility for the models to change in. They were all packed in the store in between each set to change in here. Um, so the store got a bit of a beating and it wasn't very, you know, I don't have sufficient air conditioning for them and things like that. Um, you know, Lisa needs her air conditioning, right? Exactly. You know what, you know what I was thinking? Like if I, if I only, if I had like unlimited budget, you know what I would do is rent one of those like Hollywood actor vans. Mm -hmm like those big trucks and have all the models change in there. That would be cool. There would be like Lisa's room with like lights around it. Bling. Be like, lights and bling. Lisa in two. Lisa in two. Right? <laughs> um, Tanya says, let's do a big production. Um, sounds awesome, Tanya. Let's connect. Um, I'm so glad that this Facebook Live it allows us to connect like this, whereas we may not have found each other otherwise, right? We've never so. been to Virginia. Have you been to Virginia? Nope. No, we've never been to Virginia. Let's speak it into existence. Amanda says, hi, ladies. Where is your store located? I would love to visit. I live in Saskatoon. Well, we're in Mississauga, Ontario. Uh, so fun. hello from, uh, from you know, Toronto area. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, so even though if you come visit, for sure, come on down to the store. But you can also shop online at sexyplusclothing.com. And um, my name is Stephanie. I'm the owner. You can call me if you have any questions about the merchandise, how if, does something fit, if it stretches, um, you know, any questions you have, I'll help you out in terms of making the right choice. And um, we have a good return policy as well. So um, take a look at the website. Um, so Lisa, you just got back from New York. Yes. Um, tell us, why were you there and how was it? Any highlights from your trip? Um, yeah, so I just got back uh, late Sunday night and I slept for a minute all day yesterday. So um, I'm exhausted and trying to recover, but I was in New York for um, Full Figure Fashion Week 2017, which is run by Miss Gwen DeVoe, uh, AKA DeVoe uh, Event Productions, I think it is. And so this signature was events, I signature think. events, Javel yeah. signature events. So it was the ninth year for Full Figure Fashion Week. Um, if anyone doesn't know what it is, and it it basically is a celebration of all things um, plus size, curvy, whatever term you want to use for our community. Um, celebrates fashion, celebrates models, celebrates influencers, um, and basically brings everyone together. So that's their Instagram page, Full Figured Fashion Week. So you want to go and check them out, and then I'll just bring yeah. up Gwen's um, she is diva the mogul, something. She is the mogul diva on Instagram. Um, and if you want to search for any of the thousands of pictures that are related to Full Figure Fashion Week, um, use the hashtag FFWeek2017. Uh, FFF. 
FFF Week 2017. Yeah. So this is the creator, Miss Gwen DeVoe Mogul Diva on Instagram. She's the creator of Full Fared Fashion Week. All right, go on. Yeah, so I went, uh, the official kickoff was last Sunday, so basically I went to a bunch of different events. Um, I also got to meet um, some really great uh, new influencers that I had never met in person, but maybe I was friends with online. So what is an influencer? Some of our viewers Sorry. may not know. Okay, so an influencer, so the, the world of influence slash blogging is kind of uh, changing. Um, so, you know, it can be a blogger, but it can also be someone who maybe doesn't have a blog, but is an influencer on Instagram and Facebook. Like Katerina, for instance. Like Katerina. She has a blog, but she doesn't really, um, yeah. she doesn't really post a lot of content there, yeah. but she's very influential on Instagram. Yes. Okay. So, you know, blogging is kind of content wise is, is moving a lot. And so it just depends on what you're great. And it's, um, you know, Instagram is great again for Katarina or Sarah, Sarah mm -hmm. Taylor, um, models, right? So a mm -hmm. lot of models, there's actually a big expectation, um, to have a good, strong following on, um, outlets like Instagram. Right. So yeah. So basically the grand finale was on Saturday, which is the runway show. And what's great about the runway show at Full Wigger Fashion Week is it's fashion forward and it's new designers, um, indie collections, along with a couple major retailers. So Ashley Stewart um, was a presenting um, major retailer. Um, Sarah Taylor killed it in that look in that show. Um, she was one of the models. And then um, also you had like Fit for Me, which is Fruit of the Loom. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jody. We were so, just talking about you earlier. You'll have to watch the, yes. the show from the beginning. We were exploiting you a little bit there. Um, sorry, not sorry. So Fit For Me is the title sponsor. So what's really cool is they've come out actually actually with athletic, athleisure wear, and casual wear, and um, basically stuff for the gym and working out. And so it's sold on Walmart.com and Amazon.com, I believe, as well. And it does ship to Canada, and it goes up to size 5X. And their price point is really good. Very cool. So that was something new this year. Um, and you know, for me, I get to meet with my brands that I don't necessarily see in person and I maybe did a few photo shoots. You guys got to check out Mustang Sally 2's Instagram page. Uh, she had the most beautiful, uh, picture the other day. Um, but you'll have to go and check it out and read her blog, uh, to find out more about it. I'll show you here. Look at this, like model, like Lisa was saying, you know, when she got started at, ah, I'm not a model. Well, you're kind of turning into one. That doesn't look like a beautiful plus size model. I don't know what is. Um, that's funny, Jody. I just read your comment mm -hmm. quickly, and it's I, I read because I kind of have to speed read the comments, otherwise they go mm -hmm. up uh, past the screen. And it I read love your boobs. <laughs> so I was going to say <laughs> Jado, um, but she says love you booze. I saw Sarah and Katie slaying the runway. Our Canadians are on. Indeed. Um, so, yeah, so you were talking about those brands. So, um, Ashley Stewart, for example, is like a big brand. Mm -hmm. But then also you were saying it's a chance for indie designers mm -hmm. to get out there and establish themselves and um, be seen by the general public and yeah. by boutiques who will then buy and carry those brands, yeah. right? So, it was really cool. Probably one of my favorites was there's this fabulous lady from Mexico. She owns, uh, She it's her very first showing of her very first collection. It's called... Um, Gina Rose um, and she basically makes beautiful gowns like if you're thinking prom weddings uh, bridal um, it's G-E-N-E G-E-N-E -E. Rose dot M-E dot M-S G-E-N-E -E. okay um, why is it not coming up dot dot M-X yeah it should be dot M-X there, there you go is. So yeah, so it's um, she just launched her site on um, basically for full figure, full figure fashion week, and when her dresses came down the runway, I was just totally in awe, and it was so sweet. Her husband gave her flowers, and he was in tears, and her mother was there, and you know, so I'm just so excited, and I guess I was just in awe because she was like so excited to meet me. I met her at the opening event, and. She was just so gracious and humble, and her designs are beautiful. Where did you say she's from? She's from Mexico. Wow. Yeah, and then there was another designer that was from Bahamas or Bermuda. I think it's Bahamas, 
and his designs were amazing. Um, someone else, they have something called the Kirby Expo. So yeah, it's just a great week. Um, and you said that there were also events. What were some of the types of events that you went to? So we had a rooftop party to start things off. Gorgeous um, rooftop uh, on Sunday afternoon with live music, just chilling, having oh. drinks, getting to meet everyone. That sounds nice. Yeah, um, we had like a, um, Fit For Me had a press event. So if you were an influencer, we got to learn how to walk the runway. We got to take some photos, makeup touch-ups. Um, they introduced the athleisure line. They had a little fashion show. And just a great bunch of networking. Got to learn more about their brand. I grilled them on their sizing and their size chart. Right, yeah. And then I gave them a high five because I was happy. Right, <laughs> right. And, and, and they may not know you know where they need to make important improvements like that and you bring that information to them as a consumer yeah. which is another question i had like these these events like the pool top party and the press event um a lot of my fans and you mm -hmm. know people watching this video are not biz like in the industry from a mm -hmm. business perspective they're not models or bloggers or you know influencers mm -hmm. so would it be relevant for somebody who's just a re regular consumer to go to Full Figured Fashion Week and any of these events? Yeah, like, I mean, you're not going to necessarily, like, I will be honest, some events are exclusive to influencers and models, but there's lots of events, I would say probably 75% of them that are open to the general public. Like, the pool party is coming up this Sunday and anyone can buy a ticket. And I think if you just want, if you love fashion, you want to meet some influencers or some models, and you want to see some cool stuff come down the runway. And be then, among like company. Yes. Right? People that have the same interests as you, the same struggles as you, right? Yeah, it's so. totally. There's so many. I mean, there was a talk called the state of the plus size community, and it had a lot to do with how, you know, how regular people, because let's face it, you're the customers. You're the ones that buy everything. Yeah. Um, you know, in large quantities, there's only a few influencers where the, you know, the 67% of us that are plus size, that's a hundred million people, right? So in the United States. Oh my God, that was some crazy fast math. That is some crazy fast math. I know. <laughs> you already knew that number. I'm an accountant. I know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, so I think there's a lot of influence to be had there and a lot of retailers like talking to the everyday person. Like I had a client that was there for the first time and he loved it when, so Kirby Expo is something else that they have where you know different brands are set up and they have tables with information about their product and their brand and you can just come and have a chat with them and he was there and he loves talking to the regular consumer. and they're they're open to that to those oh, yeah. that consumer feedback well and that's good because oftentimes there's no other way other than a generic website email you know to mean to communicate with a company yeah. and right here you're dealing with the you know, either the designers or the marketing people or the website people or the, you know, mm -hmm. like CEO themselves, right? Yeah, and they had a really great charity event. Um, there was a really great charity. Um, there was Dance Dance-a-thon, Dance -thon? I saw Dance -a -thon. that, yeah. So, but what was great was the charity was actually to help women get back on their feet um, and get back into the workforce, um, maybe even after they've had some personal struggles and they were looking for clothing donations, particularly in plus size. So I thought it was a really great Very cause. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Teresa, good evening. Thanks for joining and sharing. Appreciate that. Um, look at all those hearts. I think they're they're liking what you're talking about too. Mm -hmm. um, Thanks, guys. And that's something that I've done at Sexy Plus here as well. Is I've done um, a clothing drive, and I really need to commit to make it. Um, you know, probably something that I do three times a year not just at Christmas or during the holidays. Um, is I'll do a clothing drive where people bring. Um, uh, gently used plus size clothing items and based on how much they bring mm -hmm. they get a discount right so bring four pieces and get a 10% discount bring you know six or more mm -hmm. and then I just pile it up in back um, I store it here at sexy plus clothing and then I make arrangements to you know drop it off or have one of those charities come and pick it up which a lot of them are really happy to do because um, you know imagine how hard it is to find um, you know clothing in general when you're trying to re-enter the workforce you know a hundred times harder as a plus size woman for sure. when you don't have any resources or even like a place to call home yes, right yes, yes. so um, I'll commit to that uh, I'll uh, I'll make that um, you know I'll try to make that two or at least three times a year and uh, you know it gives you an opportunity to save and it gives us together an opportunity to support the community so I'm know. sure I have some clothes in my closet that I could donate 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh my God. Talk about five suitcases five at the Consign Your Curve sale that Lisa had. It was four. Uh, mm, mm -hmm. Sure. Um, so <laughs> thanks for all the hearts, everybody. Hey, Katerina, have you joined yet? What were you calling me about? I'd like to know. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> she called earlier, like totally interrupted the Facebook live. I know well, the, the nerve of her, <laughs> right? <laughs> and she was here earlier, like cat. So yeah. And I was a trooper. <laughs> it was a heat wave. So we're talking like, uh, like a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Like it was horrible. And I shot it, like twice one day, 16 hours. Check out my Instagram. Anyways, so yeah, so there'll be some hot picks coming to the website. Looking forward to it, yeah. But uh, yeah, I feel rejuvenated and uh, you better stay tuned for this summer because I got lots going on. And the thing too is that what I love about Lisa guys is that um, as a size 4X generally speaking, mm -hmm. a lot of people who wear um, 5X, uh, 4X would shy away. Um, hey Suzanne, thanks for joining, nice to see you. Um, would shy away from wearing certain things like jumpsuits or mm -hmm. rompers or bodycon dresses. And if you take a look at Lisa's blog uh, or her Instagram or Facebook page, um, you will see, um, did you see that? Bo is yeah. watching from Mexico. And we two <clears throat> plus size girls, very difficult to fit clothes plus sizes. Well, thanks for joining from Mexico, Bo. I know it is really tough. I've actually met a few followers last week from Mexico and even Puerto Rico as well and they were telling me how hard it is. So I totally understand. Um, you really need to look for sites that will ship internationally. Unfortunately, it may be a ton on the expensive side, so you just want to make sure that you maybe place a bulk order. A bulk order, get together with some girlfriends, yeah. order together, split the shipping cost, um, get it when there's a sale going on. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of those brands that you feature yeah. have, they regularly have 30 or 40% off, right? So order from some of those. So check out um, to Bo, who from Mexico earlier, check out um, www.mustangsally2.com. She features a lot of brands that will ship internationally and that have a very good uh, size range, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so what I was saying earlier is that as a size 4X, Lisa is not afraid to try anything. Um, so another reason that, you know, I want you guys to go check out her blog for um, inspiration and, um, you know, just to see how she pulls it off. And she looks great in every single one of them. Um, oh, stop it. I, I'm I'm still afraid to try certain styles and I mean I'm you know a retailer of plus size clothing right so I really I really do admire that um, I can't find a romper yet <clears throat> well I'm on the hunt for a romper that I might actually wear I saw somebody feature one the other day I can't remember what site I think it was Marcy somebody that you follow mm -hmm. featured a romper from somewhere the other day that went up to like a size 36 or something like that oh yes that's flash, news flash, news flash. Ashley Stewart now carries up to size 36. Um, so, uh, Simone says Lisa is amazing. Aw, thanks, Simone. So Jody. are you. Oh, all the love. You guys are amazing too, my girls. Um, so the Body Confidence Canada Awards, Ooh, um, yes. the, if you know somebody who you think should get a Body Confidence Canada Award, um, the nominations are clo closing, I believe it's June 23rd. Mm -hmm. So if you know anybody who's making strides in terms of beauty diversity, um, body confidence, um, all genders are welcome for to be uh, nominated. And um, it's just like a kind of like a little quick two page write up that you need to do. Um, and it's really, uh, in the f fashion industry and even more so in the plus size fashion industry, it's really hard for um, people in the business like Lisa as a blogger or myself as a retailer to get formal recognition and accreditation. You don't get a certificate in making things pretty, um, right? So It is an art though. Um, yeah, and, and a skill, um, and, uh, you know, I was a winner in 2014, um, so th that's, you know, something formal for me to put on my, you know, list of achievements, so to speak, so it's really an important award, um, so yes, please, if you know anybody, support the Body Confidence Canada Awards and nominate 
anybody, anybody who you think should be recognized for making strides in terms of beauty diversity. Um, so just go to BCCA or Body Confidence Canada Awards.com, I believe it is. Um, I submitted my nomination today. I have to do mine, but I have till Friday. Yeah, you have till Friday. Um, Please show some dresses and short size 20. Uh, Bo, you'll have to go to her website, which is mustangsally2.com, and look at all like some previous blogs, and you'll see a lot there. Um, if you want to see what we have here at Sexy Plus, go to sexyplusclothing.com, and we have a lot of stuff in size 20. No shorts, though, but lots and lots of dresses and some cute tops and lingerie as well. Um, I wonder if she meant a shorter dress. Possibly. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go and try on a cool, I'm wearing leggings today, so I'm not going to try on a dress. I'm going to try on one of our cool tops, our shredded tops for you, kind of an urban vibe. I'm going to go try that on. I'll leave You're you with... You're giving away all your secrets. Sorry. But they're going to want to stay tuned to see it. Because it's shredded, so you're going to see some some, some boobage, mm -hmm. right? So I'll leave you with Lisa and I'll be right back. Okay, so does anyone have any questions for me? I could talk. So yeah, so something that's actually really exciting for me is um, I've been going, you want to see my boobs? Well, my boobs are right here. They're kind of already on display. Jody, really? So yes, this is my... When is my next sale? Well, actually that's one of the, funny that you um, asked because that's actually one of the things that I'm working on. So if anyone has actually gone to my website recently, I did launch the newly designed MustangSally2.com um, on my birthday, which was May 9th. And so there is a Shop My Closet page um, that is currently disabled um, because Lisa needs time to load it with all her good stuff. I wonder if they're asking about sexy plus clothing sale. Is that possible? Simone asked me, Lisa, when's oh, your next oh, sale? Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, that'll be coming when I'm off in July and August. Yes, I'm going to be taking two months off work. Jody, what was my favorite part of FF week? Hmm. I would have to say there's something that I can't tell you about because it's a secret right now. And then... Um, the second thing was the fashion show. The fashion show had the most amazing energy this year. The designers were like on point, fashion forward, out of the box, not stuff that you expect to see in plus size. Um, the room was packed, the models were awesome. So it was just a really amazing gathering of people and like I had a really killer dress on. And the white party, oh look at the boobage. <laughs> okay. My top and my boobs have arrived. They have indeed. So this is uh, a new, kind of like a tunic or even you could say a mini dress that we have in the store with all these shreds. Yes, that is my pink bra underneath there. Um, so, you know, this would be so cool for the beach mm -hmm. over a swimsuit. The back is, you'll see probably the tag sticking out there, but the back is shredded as well. Um, Someone says, ooh, Stephanie did. Right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn. So I'm wearing black leggings, so you can't see, but all this is like the whole front of it is all shredded with this print here. Um, I love it. It's, it's really cool. So you could wear this, you know, for like to go out. Um, this one was featured in our uh, fashion show. Um, a model uh, whose uh, Instagram handle is Royale T uh, modeled it for us. So you can go check out how she styled it there. But it's a really cool piece, I think, for, like, to go out to the club, you could wear it with, like, maybe a black bra or something like that, right? Or, you know, for more casual to the beach. Has a bit of a longer sleeve, which I really like. Um, I don't like sleeves that end right here. I like them either longer or no sleeve, you know what I mean? So, really cool piece. Only a few left. It's selling fast, so go check it out, guys. Um, I'm going to go change, and I'll be right back. <coughs> Okay, so I think I saw in the comments that Amber wanted to know how I started blogging. Um, so I started blogging um, kind of a result of going to an event called The Big Deal in Toronto, which was put on by Karen Ward, who owns Big Sis Closet, and Steph was there, and I met Steph. So basically, long story short, I met some great people in the community. 
Um, I had never really had um, much of a plus size community um, friend wise and they were like Lisa you love to shop you have great style why don't you give this a try it was tax season and I was like I can't do this right now and so then I decided that I would give it a try and so yeah so I launched it July 1st 2015 so my two-year anniversary is coming up in a few short weeks and I'm super excited. It's uh, basically changed my life into something that I never imagined. I still love what I do as my day job, but um, I also can't imagine not vlogging. My friend Pam, who is my best boo from way back in the day, wants to know what collection was my favorite that I saw. Um, so I did mention uh, Jenna Rose from Mexico. That totally speaks to my girly um, love of dresses and florals and patterns and color. Um, but there was also a... Um, brand from the uh, Bahamas that I really, really loved um, and I'm hoping to actually get something from them. They did say that they would ship to Canada for me. Yes, I did ask that question. So yeah, so stay tuned. I'll probably have them on the blog. And so I think it's my turn to go and try something on. Are we excited? Yep. Okay. All right, so what I wanted to um, talk to you guys about while Lisa goes and changes into her dress um, is I want to show you two um, arrivals that I have one of them is called the ethereal um, chiffon dress and we have it in a few different colors and I'll show it to you here in the ivory so it's a beautiful chiffon dress um, with a sleeve beautiful gold button detail on the sleeve um, belt and then this beautiful overlay here, and the skirt is lined with um, a mini dress underneath. So the mini lining goes till about here, like till about mid thigh. Um, just beautiful flowing dresses. So I have this, this is the Ivory Garden. I have it in the Black Rose. I have it in a few different prints. Um, just one sec. And then, the other one that I wanted to show you is this one called the Summer Stock, and this is from Unique Vintage, our brand that we carry that does a lot of retro dresses, and it's these cute watermelons. It's a bodycon with bra-friendly straps, um, black detail here. So I have this one in size 14, 16, and 18, 20. Um, so this one and the Ethereal are both on the website and also in store. And now I think we're ready to see Lisa. Come on out, Lisa. So Lisa is wearing the Patricia dress and um, it's a fairly new style here at Sexy Plus. Um, we have it in black and ivory and in this gorgeous turquoise blue. Um, sweetheart neckline, fit and flare style, bra friendly straps. Um, Look at that, like it's just such a great little dress and $59 guys. And because it's in this beautiful crepe fabric, um, it's breathable, it's stretchy, it's comfy, um, and it can be casual or formal. And look at all these pleats. Look at all those pleats in the front, how pretty it is. Can you give us a spin? Of course I can. Look at that, like it's just got beautiful movement to it. And these come in size 1X to 4X, Lisa's wearing the 4X. Um, it looks great and yes Pamela it's the same one that's on the mannequin back there that we styled with a black belt and kind of a funky black necklace um, this is great for hot summer days like Bo says great price point point. Um, and I mean like you could wear this to a summer wedding mm -hmm. um, or you could wear this for like a daytime picnic right mm -hmm. yeah so great dress there thank you Lisa Come on. <laughs> So give me one second and I'll go get the, um, the black one and the ivory one for you. So same dress in the black and in the ivory. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, $59 Canadian for those. Um, Judy, thanks for joining. Nice to see you. Um, so $59 for those dresses, guys, um, and that's Canadian, so it's about $40, $45 US, um, fantastic pr price point. And um, I also have the black one in a long version, let me show it to you, in a gown version, so you could totally wear that one 
to a summer wedding uh, or a more formal occasion. Um, Josie modeled it here on the runway, and this one, the long version, is only 80, excuse me, 89. Um, so same sweetheart neckline, bra-friendly straps. Um, so lots of great stuff, um, and you know, so that you guys know that at Sexy Plus we have these very budget-friendly, affordable items, and then I also have, um, you know, the in-between kind of brands, medium price point, and then also the designer stuff, the Joseph Ribkoff, which is the higher price point. But you don't find that a lot in boutiques. That wide range of style and price points, like mm -hmm. from a shredded T-shirt to a cute little turquoise fit and flare dress, right? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of because. I want Sexy Plus not to be designated to a certain price category or style category. I want it to be a place where women have choice, right? Where they can choose what, how much they want to spend and they can be the shredded t-shirt girl as well as the cute little blue dress girl because we wear many hats, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't your style range greatly? Yeah. Like, right? If the shredded came in my size, I'd buy it. Which you, yeah. So, yeah. Um, unfortunately, a lot of brands still don't make the 4X, um, but you know, it's getting more and more of them are doing it. It's making getting great strides. It's getting better. We're making strides. Um, so, yeah. Um, and that's why I love it here because it's not. I, I mean, for me, I feel like you know, fashion is a per, is a form of self expression. I always say this: you don't have to love everything that I wear. You don't have to love everything that Stephanie wears. You don't have to love everything that she has in the store. But I find that there's something for everyone. And right. you know, that's your right to express your, your express what speaks to you. And maybe what speaks to you on one day doesn't speak to you on another day. It depends how you feel. That's true. Yeah. It could be how you feel that day. And I mean, it's, it's, um, uh, Chantel, the owner of Amadora Jewelry, said to me the other day that it's the only store where her, her sister, and her mom, who have very different styles and tastes, awesome. can all shop at the same place and all get something. And I think that that's a reflection of me because mm -hmm. I've been the party girl, um, I've been the corporate girl, I've been the, um, you know, yeah, like I used she to go was out. Party. I used to go out dancing a lot and I wanted like a new, a sexy new little outfit every weekend um, and I didn't want to break the bank to get it, you know, so I, something that's like, you know, 50 or 60 or 70 bucks, you know, fit the bill and, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then I've, like I said, I've been the corporate, so I needed more, you know, refined professional pieces um, and then, you know, who doesn't have like events and weddings and the occasional gala or cocktail thing to go to and, mm -hmm. you know, one of the things I love hearing most from uh, customers that I hear every week um, from people who come shopping here is that, you know, their dress shopping was a pleasant experience for the first time in their life, mm -hmm. which is so nice to hear. Um, so thanks everybody for giving Sexy Plus a try. Um, Pam, I remember when you were a party girl and I looked after you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so they were partying, partying and you were like the DD. I was the DD. I was the one that would go home and say, call me when you pick me up, when you're ready to be picked up. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're like the responsible one. Mm -hmm. Um, Jody says it is super refreshing to come to a boutique where I always know I will find something to wear for any occasion that will not only 100% fit my body and my personality, but is impeccable quality for a reasonable price. Indeed. Thank you, Jody. That's totally, yeah. totally what I want it to be and what uh, it seems it is, you know, based on the feedback. Oh, and another thing I wanted to ask um, everybody, um, if you love Sexy Plus, um, please write uh, a Google review. Uh, as a small business, I don't have any uh, external investors. I don't have um, a marketing budget, um, you know, of like, you know, a million dollars a year, no. um, you know, to, to, you know, reach the masses. So Google reviews are a natural way and a free way uh, for me to reach more people because the more Google reviews I have, the more my boutique will come up in search results when people are searching for plus size clothing. So if you can take a moment and just, I think you can just do like a star rating. You can um, also, you know, the comment section is optional. Um, but if you could do that, review Sexy Plus Clothing on Google, um, even if it's just from an online shopping experience and you, you like what you got and it fit and uh, it arrived on time as expected, you know, if you could review that too, that would be great. Um, still raining out there? Looks mm, like it's... doesn't look very nice. The reason I'm checking is because... Are we going out to dinner after? Yeah. 
Yay. Are we going to go for um, Japanese? I mean, um, what is it? Yeah, ja yeah, Japanese. Maybe. Are you in the mood? What are you in the mood for? I don't know yet. Well, obviously you know what I'm in the mood for. <laughs> yes, I do know what you're doing. So, <laughs> Not okay, so, 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 so Miss, Miss, Miss Store Owner over here, my friend Pam wants to know about the, getting over the fear of shopping online. So you have a lot of online customers. I do, and I think that I think one of the things from getting over, well, first of all, where is the fear coming from? Um, it, it's the fear of I, I'm I'm assuming that it's not going to fit or work out. So I think that reading their size chart is very important because very few boutiques. I'm one of the exceptions, we'll take the time to actually adjust the sizing um, to how it really fits. So here's the thing, in the plus size manufacturing industry, so behind the scenes, what consumers don't know mm -hmm. is that there's a category called Junior Plus. And Junior Plus, I don't know why it even exists, it's so stupid, um, it shouldn't exist. A 1X should be a 1X internationally, but that's just not the reality. Um, so Junior Plus is a smaller fit. So often a 1X in a Junior Plus will fit a size 12 rather than a size 16, which it should. Mm -hmm. And a 2X, which should be normally the standard is to fit about an 1820, in a Junior Plus a 2X will fit a 16, maybe an 18, more likely a 16. So the thing is, is that a lot of these boutiques will put these items on their stores as 1X, 2X, 3X. So you think the 1X is going to be standard and you purchase it and it's teeny weeny, um, which is so discouraging. And then you've wasted, uh, you know, money on shipping and time mm -hmm. um, and you're just disappointed with your purchase. So on my website, if it's a 1X Junior Plus, I'm not going to put it on my website as 1X. I'm going to put it as a size 12 based on how it actually fits. Mm -hmm. um, so read the size chart and see if they've adjusted for that. If they put, you know, like you can go and check my size chart on sexyplusclothing.com and you'll see what the measurement should be for, let's say a 1X. Um, let's say it's, uh, I don't know, 44 inches around the bust. And then mm -hmm. you go to another website and then you see that their 1X is, uh, you know, 32 inches around the bust, then it's most likely a junior plus and you're gonna have to size up. Um, so that's one thing that you can look out for. Another thing is to try to purchase Canadian if you can. That way you're not going to be hit with unexpected um, customs cost when you receive it and unexpected taxes and duties. Um, another thing would be if you're going to purchase um, from the U.S., then do it when they have a sale. Um, Lisa knows when most of them are happening. Um, you know, 30 or 40 percent happens all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's because a lot of these bigger brands have the room to have that margin mm -hmm. and therefore they can frequently do very generous offers like 30 and 40 percent off. Yeah. I just ordered a bunch of uh, sandals from Lane Bryant. <clears throat> I'm from Avenue I think yeah and um, and I got them at 30% off and they factor in all the taxes and duties so there's no unexpected costs um, so I mean Pamela I think that Lisa is a great resource for that she knows you know how to like which companies to work with and you know how to order from them so I hope that that helps alleviate some of that fear um, I've already tried to alleviate a lot of it with regards to the size um, for sexy plus so you don't have to worry about that there the great um, thing is too Stephanie is that you will answer anyone's questions so if you shoot Stephanie an email or you call, or call. the store yeah. she'll talk to you about what size she thinks you should get and she's very helpful yeah and um, sexy plus Plus is, you know, this is how I put it, big enough to serve you and small enough to know you, mm -hmm. right? So that one-on-one -on -one service where you're like, I'm not sure about this. How do the sleeves fit? How low is the neckline? Can I wear it for work? Will my boobs be falling out? All those things. I've been all those women, mm -hmm. the work woman, like I said before, the party girl. So I understand the needs and I'm, I've been the consumer. Um, so I can really give you some honest feedback about helping you make the right choice. So yeah, Pam, call me. Uh, anything that you're interested on the website, just call me and I'll let you know. Um, Someone asked about seeing things or commented on, on seeing things on models that are actually true to size. And I just want to say, so not like a, you know, a 12 or 14 or someone pretending to be a 14. Right. And I just want to say that, you know, I give staff real credit um, for using models of all size, including me, all, all heights. Um, so I think that going on Sexy Plus, you can see a great variety of women in her clothing and actually see what it looks like. You know, that's something that I really strive for in this industry is to get 
better representation of visibly plus women because yeah. that's what people want to see. It's really hard to shop online when you don't know what it's going to look like. Yeah, and a lot of the bigger brands are kind of stuck in their ways and their yeah. image and they're not willing to step outside of that or yeah. they have to go through a lot of red tape in order mm -hmm. to do that. But that's the beauty of independent boutiques is that we make our own rules. So if I want to shoot somebody who's less than the standard 5'11 model height and who's like really like a 5'2 petite plus size woman mm -hmm. um, and she has the look that I'm that I want for sexy plus I'm gonna go for it so you'll see um, a lot of that variety on sexy plus I do uh, I am happy that I can do that when I worked for Wells Fargo and I wanted to run a marketing campaign mm -hmm. the red tape that I had to go through I had to write like a you know 20 page specifications document get sign off from legal get sign off from business development from the risk department now when I want to do something I'm like oh <laughs> approved Yay. <laughs> Yay. Hey. It's just me. So here's you, to small boutiques. Can you believe it's going to be like almost two years since that first time I came and shot with you? Um, it, to be honest, it feels like less. It feels like it's just flown by. I know. Right? Um, so yeah, my life has changed because of Sexy Plus Clothing. Just like Lisa was saying earlier how blogging has changed your life. My network of like of friends and superpower supportive women around me mm -hmm. is all due to sexy plus I have mm -hmm. a few relationships from before I was in this industry but uh, yeah I'm really grateful um, so just one last final thought if you want to be here on the show with me as my guest um, please just message me either on Facebook or through the website email um, Stephanie at sexyplusclothing.com. That's Stephanie with an F, not a PH. Um, and, uh, you know, just if you also are a woman in business and you have a product that you'd like to promote um, to either women or more specifically to plus size women, I'd love to have you here and share that product with my audience. Um, any last thoughts, Lisa? Anything you'd like to say? So I think you should stay. Before we go eat, I think you should stay tuned for the next couple of months because, as I said, I'm taking some time off, and I think Stephanie and I might get into some fun trouble. Yeah, she is uh, having some like what, like the summer off? Is that what it is? Um, yeah, I'm basically taking like just over two months off. So she'll be hanging out. Um, she'll be probably replacing me a couple of times here at the store, so I can have a day off. <laughs> or something so I can go to the beach. Oh no, didn't we talk about that? No? <laughs> I don't get to go to the beach with you? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, who are we going to have work the store? Kat, Katerina, she's off for the summer. We'll make arrangements. I'm sure I'll be here one day. <laughs> um, Jillian, hi, how are you doing? You're asking. We are located in Mississauga uh, at Eglinton and Tomkin. You can find the address and a map at sexyplusclothing.com. It is the greatest boutique in the West. Um, and yep. uh, there's definitely a lot to fall in love with here at Sexy Plus. I'll give you guys a quick little view of the store, which I always do. It's so pretty. So you can see it's so pretty. And there, there's another t-shirt there, that gray one that I really love. Mm -hmm. um, the gown behind there, the pink one with the roses. Beautiful, 99 bucks. Um, look at all that gorgeousness behind me. Um, so thanks for joining everybody. Um, here's an aerial view of Lisa and I. Bye guys. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye. Katarina, oh you my just God. joined Katarina now. just joined and we're now. saying bye. Yeah. You have to call us later. <laughs> okay, I'll call you right away, Kat. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining. Bye.